Hello and welcome to another very quick training video on how to develop applications for the Amazon Kindle Fire. So here you'll see we are on the developer website, developer.amazon.com slash welcome.html. And this will give you the ability to sign in. I'm already signed in, so you'll want to do that. It'll give you the ability to create an account if you haven't already done that, as well as see the Kindle Fire development resources that are available. What I'd like to do in this video is very quickly walk you through how you can build your first Kindle Fire application and test it in the emulator. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we need to do is start up Eclipse. I got the Eclipse from the Android Developer Tools and I'm going to select my default workspace. Once I'm in, I'm going to want to go in and create a new project. So let's go ahead and drop that down. Uh, oh, I don't want that. Cancel. I want to go ahead and choose New Android Project. I'm going to just name it something pretty simple. Uh, we'll name it Hello Kindle Fire. App. And you'll notice the project name and package name gets get adjusted automatically. We do want to create a default activity because that's how we get things done in our Android application. And if we want to make some changes to the art um, and attributes of the application, we can do so here. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to create a blank activity so that I can pretty much dictate what I want to have happen, um, which in this case is going to be something very similar or very simple. On the first page, I just wanted to say hello. That's it. Very simple. So rather than calling it main activity, I'm going to call it Hello, Kindle Fire activity. And I'm going to, there is multiple navigation types that you can support, but I'm not really going to worry about that right now. Um, all right, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and say finish. Now it's going to create these resources, and I always like to very quickly go through and look at the navigation window. Um, just so you can kind of see where things are. I like to know where my source is, so under source you can find your Java files. I'm going to go ahead and open that up just so we can take a look. And it lets you know what the standard callback methods are. You also have an opportunity to override them or add content to them. We also then will see uh, the ability, as you may have just saw over here, um, the ability to see kind of a WYSIWYG environment for doing your development. This is exactly, right now, if you do nothing else, exactly how this will be presented on the Kindle Fire. One of the things that you might notice is that one of the tendencies we have uh, as developers just is to go right into a WYSIWYG environment and start making changes without really understanding how that is going to work. Um, so what we can do here is you'll notice by selecting it I can see in the properties window a string and it says hello world so and it says the resolved value is hello world how do I change that and where are these located so in uh, this environment I'm going to cancel this out you'll notice there's actually a little directory called values and in it there's an XML file called string.xml and in here you will find that hello world string so now I can go in and say something else like hello Kindle Fire and it'll give you the opportunity I'm going to go ahead and save that with control S and now what I can do is go back to this close it and where was that open that back up and now you'll notice those changes have taken effect so now we have very simply gone in created a new application change the text by going into the strings XML file and modifying it so that we could customize what gets presented on the screen. Let's just take it a tiny bit further um, and add something from the palette onto our freeform surface in order to create a more visually appealing um, application. So one of the things I like is this reading system. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. Um, there's also images and media if I wanted to do that. Um, maybe I would go in and say 
here. Whoa, that's a little bit too big. Let's not use that one. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Let me go ahead and add in a clock. Let's go ahead and run the application and see what happens. So I'm going to select my app, go up to the Run icon, and choose Run as Android application. When I do that, the Android tablet will launch. Uh, this is the emulator that is provided as part of the Android uh, toolkit. Um, what I will get now is uh, the ability for me to see how this application would look like on a tablet. Now you'll notice that the emulator has brought up the home screen, so we need to unlock it by choosing the lock symbol. It will then unlock it and load up our application as the first activity. So you'll see here, it loads the activity. It's got our custom um, text field that we added in. It's got the stars. They're fully functional. Um, we also then have a clock which shows a consistent time, as you'll see here, related to the tablet's time. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. At this point, what we've done is gone through and uh, created our first Eclipse uh, project, right? So in Eclipse, we created our first Kindle Fire uh, Android application project. We then customized a text field by utilizing strings.xml, which is an example of part of what we can use to internationalize our application in the future. And then we even used part of the palettes components to be able to add uh, additional functionality and some UI components very quickly and easily without any development effort. In the next set of videos, we're going to actually start the development of a full-blown application that I will be submitting to the store. So I hope you will stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video.